Welcome, Admiral. Please take a moment to customize your look. This is how you will be represented in the campaign. You will not be able to edit the look later, so do make sure every detail is to your liking. Hard work is what keeps the ship moving. Hard work is what keeps the ship moving. Hard work is what keeps the ship moving. Sir, welcome to Pearl Harbor. The strike group will return here after every successful mission in order to prepare for the next one. Upgrades for the strike group can be purchased here. Every upgrade will cost upgrade points. Have a look through the different tabs, sir. Each one will allow you to manage a specific aspect of your strike group. The crew is the heart and soul of the aircraft carrier. In the full version of the game, you will be able to upgrade both your crew members and officers on this screen. The amount of crew slots on the ship can be upgraded here, sir. Doing so will increase the number of crew members on the carrier. In the full version of the game, you will also be able to upgrade your officers and increase their numbers. In the demo, crew units have pre-selected specialties but you will be able to choose them for yourself in the full version of the game. This is where your true power lies, sir. Or in this case, lies. These are the machines to be sent out into battle at your command. So do make sure they are well prepared. Here you can increase the amount of squadron slots available on your flight deck. This means that you will have more squadrons ready for orders at a given time. You can also upgrade each of your aircraft models, improving their efficiency in battle. On this screen, you can purchase upgrades for various aspects of the carrier, sir. Some of these upgrades will influence the strike group statistics, which can be seen up here. If you wish, sir, you can give your aircraft carrier a name by which it will be remembered. In the demo, there is only one carrier class available to use, but in the full version of the game, you will unlock more of them as you progress and be able to truly customize your fleet to your liking. These are all the carrier upgrades available for purchase. Have a look through them, as they are sure to come in handy, sir.
There is strength in numbers, so even a powerful ship such as your aircraft carrier does not travel alone, sir. Here you can set up your naval escort. Similarly to ship upgrades, your escort has an effect on the strike group statistics, shown up here. You can upgrade your escort size here. It will let you add more vessels to your strike group, sir. This is a list of all the ships currently in your escort. Click on them to replace them with different ones. Each ship provides a different bonus, so do use your expertise, sir. Once you are happy with all the upgrades you have made, and your strike group is ready to embark on a mission, click the launch button to proceed. At your command, sir. This is where you can select the mission you want to take on. In the full version of the game, you will be able to run a massive campaign with a big impact on the war. For now, select the tutorial mission. Missions of different objectives and rewards. There is a special reward for completing the demo, which you will be able to use in the full version of the game. When you're ready, click the begin button to start the selected mission. Admiral, we have received intelligence of a planned Japanese invasion. The target is Port Moresby, the key to control the Torres Strait. Japan's domination over that area would enable land-based aircraft attacks on North Australia. We have deciphered the date and time of the assault, and we suspect that the attack will come from here, here, or here. Our orders are as follows. First, on our way to the Coral Sea, rendezvous with the scouts who have been tracking the Japanese invasion fleet. Second, our main goal is to locate and intercept the invasion fleet before it reaches the shores of New Guinea. Your strike group is in open waters now. Truly glorious, sir. Before we set off, I will show you how to navigate your ship. You are currently in deck view, sir. The highlighted button opens the navigation menu. To move to different views of the ship, you can hover over it and select the view you want. Click it to cycle through the different views, or use a keyboard shortcut. Let's move below deck first, sir. Use the navigation menu to move to sections view, or use the two key. The section view allows you to see everything that's happening below deck. You can hover over the sections to check what their function is. Here is where you will be dealing with any damage sustained. Let's move to the island view now, sir. Use the navigation menu to do so, or press the 3 key. The island is where your officers work. Not only do they provide bonuses when working in one of the rooms, they also allow you to issue orders to your strike group. Return to the deck view by using the navigation menu or by pressing the 1 key, sir. Deck view allows you to see your flight deck. From here, you will be able to perform plenty of operations related to aircraft. Now that you know how to move around your ship, let's get on with the mission, sir. Open the world map to set your course. This is the world map. You can set a course for your strike group by placing waypoints on here. Awaiting orders, sir. There is a long journey ahead, and we can't risk going black on supplies. Before you reach the mission objective location, you will need to resupply your ship. Click on the highlighted location to set up a waypoint there. Well done, sir. 
the strike group is ready to head for the designated location. Set a movement speed here to start sailing. Admiral, we've arrived at the destination. Before we recover the scouting squadron from their position in Zone K-6 near Fiji Island, we must launch the resupply procedure. We're short on time. Once scouts are aboard, we must hurry toward the Coral Sea. It's time to resupply. You can do this by issuing an order. Open the order menu here. Orders are a very useful tool, but they come with conditions. In order to use one, you will need to assign your officers to appropriate rooms on the island. Make note of the resupply order's requirements. Let's set up your officers, Admiral. Move to island view. Each officer is skilled in either Navy or Air Command and can only work in rooms that match that type. The Admiral is skilled in both commands, so he can work in any room. The resupply order requires one officer to work in a Navy room and one in an air room. You can see how many officers are working in each room type here. Assign your officers so that these conditions are met by clicking an officer portrait and then clicking on a room you wish to send them to. You can also select officers by clicking the icon above their heads. Sir! Roger that! Sir! Sir! Roger Excellent, that, sir. Your officers are in place and the resupply order can be activated. Select it from the order menu now. Commence replenishment at sea. Every order you activate will work for some time. When that time is over, you can issue a new order. Trouble below deck, sir. We have sustained some damage. This is bound to happen from time to time. This button shows you how much damage control teams are currently idle. Click it to view an idle team. Damage control teams are invaluable on an aircraft carrier. If a section sustains too much damage, it can shut down completely. Select the idle team and then click on the damaged area to have them fix it. Ready! On our way! The recon mission is heading into the retrieval location, sir. A squadron can only hover over the ocean until they run out of fuel, so it is crucial we pick them up. Open the tactical map to set a course for your ship. Awaiting orders, sir. Set up a waypoint at the retrieval location and start sailing towards it. Now that the carrier is heading to the retrieval location, you should change the deck state to prepare it for landing. Move to deck view. Use this button to change deck state to landing. There are two squadrons awaiting retrieval right now. Click on the deck and select the squadrons from the list to queue their landing. Trouble ahead, Admiral. It seems the strike group is about to be under attack. Our defense must match or exceed the enemy's attack power in order to not sustain damage. You can increase your defense in several ways, but let's start with the officers. 
Move to the island. Not only are officers necessary to activate orders, but each room they are assigned to provides a different bonus. You can increase your defenses by assigning an officer to the CIC. It is a Navy type room, so make sure to select an officer viable to work there. Same old, same old. Time Another to work. way to increase defenses is having crew members man the anti-aircraft guns. Click here to open the crew management menu, sir. This menu allows you to assign crew units to man specific departments on the ship, providing you with efficiency bonuses. This is the anti-air gun section. Drag and drop a crew unit into one of the slots to assign, sir. Sir, this icon means that a new report about an enemy has been received. Click on it to open the tactical map and view the information. In order to plan great strategies, you must correctly identify your enemies. Click on the enemy to do so. Use the information provided by the report and the included ship class cards to figure out which type of ship we will be dealing with. Let's attack the enemy you just identified. Set a course for your squadrons by clicking on the target and then clicking on a retrieval location. Now that the path is set up, select when you're done planning your attack, sir. Click this button to confirm it. Now that the plan is ready, you can start briefing the mission. You can do this by clicking the mission button. Keep in mind that mission plans become outdated after some time, so it is important to launch missions as soon as they are ready. While this mission is being briefed, let's prepare the deck. Set the deck state to launching. You also need to rearm the squadron you picked up earlier to meet the mission requirements. You can rearm the squadron by clicking on it. Now that everything is ready, all you have to do is initiate the launch. You can do so by clicking on the deck and selecting the mission. Awaiting orders, Admiral.
Trouble below deck, sir. Go to section view or click on the events to have a look at the situation. To put out a fire, send damage control teams to each affected area. Time is of the essence here, as fire tends to spread quickly. To deal with a flood, send a damage control team to man the pumps first, then select them and the affected area. Keep an eye out for any crew members that may need rescuing. This is done by damage control teams too. Ready! Aye aye! Awaiting orders. The fire is about to spread. Keep sending damage control teams to affected areas to aye put aye. it out. To pump out the flood, send a damage control team to man the pumps. Once they are there, click on them Ready. and select the flooded yes, sir. area. Awaiting orders. Admiral, the squadron you sent out to battle should be returning soon. Go to the retrieval location to land it and receive a report on the fight. Congratulations, sir. You have finished the tutorial stage. You can stay here for a while and explore, or click the world map button to end the tutorial and push on towards your mission objective. Godspeed, Admiral. Set up a waypoint at the mission location and start your engines to continue on your quest. <laughs> 